Well, cheerful is right, because it is probably the most beautiful bird that we have out here. The saddle-billed stork is one of my absolute favorites. Look at the beauty on that bird. You see all the vibrant colors. It's got those blacks and whites, and the blacks often have iridescence in them, and then that bright red beak and yellow eye. Now, this particular one is a female, and the reason we know it is a female saddle-billed stork is because it has the yellow eye. The male has a dark eye, he does not have a yellow eye at all, and she's busy moving around at Baboon Pan looking for food, and she'll go after a multitude of aquatic prey species, so she'll go after frogs and insects and even terrapins. I once saw one swallow a terrapin so big that its neck had the shape of the terrapin for about two days before it actually got it down properly. It was quite funny, but I'm sure that saddlebilled stork was not actually that impressed by it at all, but it got kind of stuck in its throat, and there was this sort of massive shell shape in its long neck. Now you can see it's about to kind of go into those reeds and it wades around and then uses that big beak to kind of stab down into the water and they are very efficient hunters. If you follow a saddlebilled stork for a morning you'll find that they consume quite a bit and that particularly with frogs they are very very good at catching frogs and that beak works wonders when it comes to that. But like I say it's got to be one of the most beautiful birds we have out here. Unfortunately their numbers have declined quite a lot. Um, what's happened with them is that because they rely on sort of wetland areas with lots of aquatic life in it, the pollution that is happening in the world and around the world has led to a decline in the habitat of these particular birds and so their numbers have declined and you find that there really aren't too many left. I actually read a thing the other day where at one stage in the Kruger National Park, I think it's increased a little bit now, but a few years ago there was actually only 90 breeding pairs left of a saddle-billed stork in the greater Kruger area, which is not very many at all. I mean that's only 180 birds, so it's really quite crazy. But look at that yellow as well on the top and that black band. Is that not cool? That is really, really pretty. And then they've got those red knees as well. So Safari Dean, you say this is a cool looking stork and the first time you've seen one. Well, I hope you keep a bird list, Safari Dean, and that you'll be able to add this now to your list. They are probably one of the coolest looking storks that we have. Well, it is the coolest looking stork by far. It's my favorite stork. I love watching them move around and they often are in pairs. When they do pair together, they will stay together for life, so they are monogamous. Now, this one doesn't seem to have a mate here, which means that it will probably be looking for one. But they Look how it uses its beak. Now, let's see. Maybe we're going to get lucky and we're going to be able to see it grabbing something. So what it's doing is it's disturbing the mud, trying to flush whatever could be there. There we go. What did it get? There was something there. I think it got a small morsel. They will also feed off freshwater mollusks, so snails and freshwater mussels as well. They'll go after those from time to time too. But that is about as good a visual of a saddlebilled stork as we're ever going to get. They sometimes can be a bit nervous birds because they're not really that common. People don't really see them that often, and so they don't like vehicles being very close to them. So the fact that we're able to see this one like this is amazing. You see how brilliant the white is on the back there? Absolutely beautiful. So, oh, it's got something. Oh, there we go. It's got a big frog. Look. Oh, sorry, frog. Well, platana, it looks like. Can you see that it's got webbed feet, big webbed feet? Or a bullfrog. I can't see which one it is. But there we go. It made a kill. Isn't that cool? That's crazy. Now it does look like a pl platana with those webbed feet. So a platana is a type of frog that we get here. Now, sorry, Kirst, I got completely distracted by that. Can you repeat your, the question again? Ah, uh, so Mystic, Mystic Wolf, you want to know how tall they get? The stork, not the frog. Thanks, Kirst, I got that. <laughs> it was prior to the frog being maimed. But the stork will get to about 150 centimeters. So 150 centimeters is how many in feet? 1.5 meters would be about the size of, well, about the size of Kirsty, really. Kirsty, how tall are you in feet? I'm waiting for Kirsty to respond to me and how tall she is.
<laughs> you're taller than this stalk. Are you sure, Kirsty? This stalk is very, very tall. So it's, I mean, that must be close to four feet somewhere around there. I'm not sure. Maybe, Kirsty, if you can do a conversion for us. Five feet. There we go. So, Kirsty, how tall are you exactly? Let's see if she is actually taller. Are you five foot one, Kirst? Are you very tall? Okay, <laughs> excellent. We'll say that you're five foot one, just so that you're taller than the stalk. But five foot is tall for a for a bird, and so you can see they can handle quite big prey. I've actually seen one grab a catfish once, and I promise you the catfish was as big as the stalk's neck, if not longer, and it managed to swallow it. So for some reason they're able to kind of, that neck is able to expand, and they're able to get these things down. It really is amazing to watch them hunt. And like I say, if you sit and watch these guys for a while, you'll find they won't just get one or two, they'll catch multiple frogs. But to be able to film it is so, so special. So we've been very fortunate this morning. That is